this show five? Yeah, show. Uh, oh, show four. Uh, this show, is four in a row. Four. Four yeah, show four. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going so far being back touring in the States? Oh, it's amazing. It's so incredible. Yeah. So good. So incredible. That's yeah. awesome. So right now we're playing Sing on our station. Great. And the fans love it. People call and request it and text for it all the time. And I think part awesome. of it is because of the message of the song. So mm -hmm. when you perform the song, who do you hope hears the message of it? I don't know. I think it's... Uh, you know, it's one of those songs that reaches everybody in different ways, I think. Um, you know, watching Twitter was kind of interesting. Um, you know, we saw people kind of applying it to what was going on in Egypt and what was going right. on in Libya. Um, you know, also, too, like, we, we've seen, the, like, Super Bowl promos, mm -hmm. like, kind of people using it to, yeah. you know, kind of like... Because there's a, you know, the song is very uplifting. It's very inspirational. Sure. So, <clears throat> you know, I think what's cool about our songs is I think there's... You know the lyrics are, are are usually written in a way where there there's always a little bit of mystery in a sense, so that you know people can make the song what they want it to be for them. And um, you know I think that song does that. People you know people take it in all these different ways. That's awesome. And it's always yeah that's the thing. It's like they're all taking it in different ways, but it's all like super positive, mm -hmm. like an uplifting type thing. Yeah. And I know that people kind of took hold of it with Japan and with yeah. all the stuff with the tsunami. Tell me about the Sing It for Japan project. I guess you could yeah, call it a project. Um, yeah, we were. I think you know we were in the UK when we we were watching the news. We were at BBC and we um, we were watching the news and saw. You're at the BBC. Yeah, we were. That's like yeah, quite a place to actually hear about it. Yeah, it was nuts. And um, you know, so a couple of days passed and we were all watching the news and we talked about what we could do. Um, you know, and uh, we decided to, you know, do this, do a, a different version of Sin, something that paid um, tribute to the people of Japan. And um, yeah, we just did a lot of work on it over over the break, and we got people to donate time. The studio donated their, you know, an incredible engineer. We got string players to play for free. Oh, and wow. I mean, everybody just chipped in because it was such a cool project. So, um, you know, it's called Sing It For Japan, and the idea came from Twitter, again, where kids were, you know, wrote this hashtag that said Sing It For Japan. Right. And people were writing all these great messages and just like, you know, sending messages of hope for people. So that was just really inspirational. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, I think we're going to try to get the track out this week. I'm ho you know, hoping, we're, you know, so we're, we're actually trying to figure it out now, but I think we're going to try to get it out this week. We're also working on a video for it. So it's just, it's really great. It feels like this great community project. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, today, like some. Some girl collected a bag of money from kids, like it's just a oh, bunch of dollar bills from like I guess kids in line, and I mean everybody's just taking part in it. It's amazing. It's amazing to see. What's that feel like when when you realize that something that you have taken part in and written really has changed a group of people, and they use it and they apply it for something so huge, and you That's, know that it's making a difference? It's like what's wild. that feel something like? Something you got. It's something you only dream of, you know. And then when when uh, when it all works out like that, it's just it's just really moving. And, you know, it really makes you think about about everything in the world, and it's just we love it. We love yeah. it. But yeah, the, it's it's crazy. Like the the lyrics that Gerard I think wrote on this record are very, very much about the times that we live in. You know, and um, I know it's it's interesting to see that take shape. Like that. So what else do you have planned for 2011? Um, the year? Yeah, just mm -hmm. lots of touring. More shows. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing wherever they have a stage. We'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we're. Um, I think the U.S. run is, is about two months, like with a break in between, and then I think we're going overseas, um, doing like some U, uh, U.K. and Europe festivals, mm -hmm. um, you know, and after that I believe we might be coming back to the U.S. and, um, yeah, just touring. I mean, we're, you know, we're really excited to support the record, we, you know, we're really proud of it, and it's cool, um, it, you know, it's cool to be in the U.S., you know, it's kind of, kind of, you know, our home, so it's, it's really nice to see how kids are reacting to it, and, you know, we, we were overseas for so long, really, at the launch of the record, right. um, it's nice to see it kind of taking hold in America, which, mm -hmm. which we haven't yeah. experienced yet. It was crazy, we did this, we did this insane two-month European run, yeah. it was like, it felt like, it was like, um, the European vacation movie, yeah. <laughs> started to be like that, <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. Yeah. So with all the stuff on the internet, you've got Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, which is dying, like all of these different outlets. Mm -hmm. Where's the best place for people to go and get information about you? Mm, good Music, question. news, touring information. Well, pro probably our website. I mean, but kids, you know, there's a what is it? Is it Tumblr? MCArmy.com. MCArmy.com is another one, and then there's like, I think it's Tumblr. I don't Tumblr's know. There's good. like kids. I don't know. It's great. Like kids post all these pictures. Yeah, right. and they have to. They do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> and like 
my kids, half the time kids know where we're going before we do. And yeah, I find out stuff from them sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what we're doing? Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, a, it, you know, it's a, our fans are amazing. We have, like, yeah. this huge, it's cool, like, it, it, especially, too, with this record and, um, you know, seeing the way that they're coming out to the show's dress and kind of, like, the way they take care of each other. And, um, in Europe, you know, a lot of kids were, uh, you know, camping out, like, a night or two nights, even three nights before oh the shows. And they, they came up with this numbering system and, like, people would, like, leave for a little bit to use the bathroom or get some food. And then, you know, the kids that were there would hold their line. It was, like, super orderly. And um, they take care of each other. And that's, you know, that's cool. Like, you, you know, I feel like, you know, our fan, it's like a growing community. Yeah. Anyway, so. It's just, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Just, like, this, they're really tight knit and they all look out for each other. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you guys again so much for sitting down and chatting. Yeah, thank you. And best wishes on the rest of the tour. Thanks. I'm sure.